How does one? How does one make the New Century Version Bible understand that it's not a competition with the Good News Bible, and that they can both be good news? The Bible is one of the most widely read and translated books in the world, with countless versions and editions available to readers. Each translation has its own strengths and weaknesses, and each can provide unique insights into the text and its meaning. Rather than seeing different translations as competitors, it is more productive to see them as complementary resources that can help deepen our understanding of the Bible. One way to approach the idea that it is not a competition between different translations of the Bible is to consider the following. Different translations serve different audiences. Different translations of the Bible are designed to serve different audiences and meet different needs. Some translations are designed to be more accessible to readers who may be new to the Bible or who have limited English proficiency, while others are designed to provide more in-depth study and analysis of the text. Recognizing the strengths and weaknesses of different translations can help readers to find the one that best meets their needs. Different translations can provide unique insights, because different translations of the Bible use different language and structures, they can provide unique insights into the text and its meaning. Some translations may highlight different themes or ideas that are not as prominent in other translations, and some may use language that is more poetic or more accessible to contemporary readers. Recognizing the unique contributions of different translations can help readers to gain a deeper and more nuanced understanding of the text. Different translations can help build bridges, Rather than seeing different translations as competitors, it is more productive to see them as opportunities to build bridges between different communities of readers. By recognizing the value of different translations and engaging in respectful and open dialogue with readers from different backgrounds and perspectives, we can build stronger and more inclusive communities that are united by a shared love of the Bible. In conclusion, making the New Century Version Study Bible understand that it is not a competition with the Good News Bible requires a nuanced and thoughtful approach. By recognizing the different audiences that different translations serve, the unique insights they can provide, and the opportunities they offer to build bridges between different communities of readers, we can create a more inclusive and collaborative approach to Bible study. Rather than seeing different translations as competitors, we can embrace their diversity and use it to deepen our understanding of the Bible and its message of hope and redemption. Ultimately, the good news of the Bible is not limited to any one translation or edition, but is a message that can be found in all of them, waiting to be discovered and shared with the world.